Hey, this is Jack from Alpha Charts with a stocks to watch video. Today is October 27th, 2024. Before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. And I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. All right. Thank you all for watching this video. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really does help me out, and I do appreciate it. Um, like this video if you can. helps with the algorithm. You can always find me on X as well um, at AlphaCharts365. I do run a subscriber group there. Uh, it's for swing traders, and um, we just started doing live streaming, which is pretty amazing. Um, so uh, twice a month or so, we're going to do uh, question and answer, chart requests, uh, my thoughts are really open and interactive with everybody via the chat. Uh, so I really, really love that. Um, but I also still do my full market report review with a full watch list on there, a focus list video, annotated charts, and all of those names that I like going into the week. I do a midweek video. I do market notes twice a week on Sundays and on Thursdays. I do every day I share a market scan for idea generation. Um, you know, daily posts just for subscribers, uh, chart requests, and again, so much more. So uh, I do all this for 10 bucks a month. The best value out there for sure. If you need somebody that you just want to like bounce ideas against, my ideas against your ideas, see if you're looking at things the right way, maybe get a second opinion. Uh, if you work full time, can't do this type of, of um, research uh, that I share with everybody. Again, it's going to cut down a lot of the time you're going to have to spend, again, time is money. And for 10 bucks a month, uh, again, you can't get a better deal. So consider subscribing through X. Now, if you don't aren't on X, um, what I started to do is all the videos that I give to all my X subscribers. Um, I will also be doing a subscription model on YouTube. Again, it's exactly the same content, but just the video portion of it. If you go to my YouTube channel, click on join. It's 10 bucks a month there as well. Price is exactly the same. Everything is the same on the video side of things. Um, so if, if that's better for you because you don't you're not on X, I know some people aren't, it gives you another option to get this type of content to you. So uh, if you're interested, please check that out and click that join button as well. Something new. I'm starting uh, again, branching out, right? Uh, so let's get into the videos. All right, so spy. You know, it was a volatile week. We have another volatile week coming up as far as earnings go. Huge earnings week. Um, we have PCE this week on Thursday, and then we have a presidential election a week from uh, eight days from now, whatever it is, on Tuesday, right? Not this Tuesday, a week from Tuesday. So volatility is going to be increased. Okay, we get it. But we still have an uptrend in the market, right? Nothing has been invalidated yet. Again, know your know what your um your risk tolerance is, of course, right? Uh, for me, you know, this is my quote unquote line in the sand, right? That's what I want to, uh, I don't mind being long above this line, below this line, I'm going to be much more cautious. Okay, we got that being said, let's get into some names and some setups. Uh, we have A Lab. So this is A Lab, Astera Labs. Uh, I believe it's a semiconductor name, but again, uh, Connectivity platform, SEMA, I don't know, they do something with computers. Who cares, right? It doesn't really matter. We, I care more about the chart. Um, so I was watching this breakout here. I was hoping it was going to come back and and just consolidate a little bit longer. It didn't. It went. So I like to see this. Again, it's a little bit extended now. Let it just come back in. Maybe close that gap, right? That may be a spot right around the $70, $70.50, you know, something like that. And then let it go. Let the moving average catch up somewhere around $70, roughly. And that's where I'd like to see something like this go. Again, nice accumulation on this chart. It looks really, really good. Nice IPO. Again, nothing really bad about this chart. It just got a little extended on me. Um, yeah, so looks looks good. Just be patient with something like this. Again, could it go without me? Absolutely. But... Yeah, there's other names out there, right? Can't be in everything. And if it goes without you, don't chase. Sweetgreen has earnings, I believe, coming up soon. Check your earnings dates. Usually there's a flag here, um, but check your earnings dates and um, to, to when everybody's earnings is, okay? Know your dates. Uh, but if this can get above this high right there, I like it versus that high. Again, I would use this 36 and a quarter or so as my stop. And um, yeah, I think this can move higher. Again, 
Again, no, your earnings dates, but that didn't look bad. Held up great on Friday, actually. Uh, next up is Reddit. Here's Reddit. Uh, that's not Reddit. That's Reddit. All right, so let's go to the weekly chart on this one. I mean, just beautiful weekly. There's your weekly breakout. There's your retest, right? So on the, you know, we had the quick retest. It's trying to move higher. Wouldn't mind seeing it come back just a little bit more. Um, but if it continues higher, you could play it versus 82, right? I, you could buy near 82. There's nothing wrong with that. And then, you know, use, you know, maybe 76, 77, something like that. Um, as your stop, you could even use just a low of the day, 79. That would be fine as well as a stop and keep it even tighter. Um, but it looks good. I drew these arrows in when it broke out. It did literally what I wanted. I never did get involved in this particular name. I, but again, I just didn't notice it. Um, it wasn't on my short list. So it is what it is, right? It's the way it works. But it still gives us another chance to get involved if it breaks out from here, continues higher. Again, great accumulation on that chart, right? Really nice accumulation. All right, next up is Sentinel-1. Come on, Sentinel-1. I spelled it wrong. There we go. There it is. All right, I love this higher highs and higher lows that it's been showing. Again, you did have a lower high here, but it came right back with a higher high, so that's fine. Um, and so here's another higher low. So that's where I think we can, you know, manage risk again. It's maybe twenty four eighty or so, right? Twenty five dollars, something like that. Um, and if it continues higher from here, then that's a very nice reward to risk. We have the uptrend already in place. Longer term, you know, we have a flat two hundred day, which is not ideal. But two hundred days ago, let's just see where we are. Is it here? That's one hundred fifty days. So 200 days is roughly right, not roughly, it is right here. So as this data, you know, as we come around, I think this can slowly but surely continue higher and that 200 day will be moving higher at that point. Okay, so Sentinel-1, cybersecurity, makes sense. App. App has been an amazing run. Love it. Uh, and then the last four days have been really, really, really tight. Again, on decreasing volume right there, the last two days. Um, so maybe it's getting ready for another run. We we don't know, uh, but if it starts to break higher from here, then you could play it versus again the, this tightness. I think you know one fifty eight ish or so. Um, you know what I'm saying. So if it gets into one sixty four four one sixty five, you know you could play it against you know one fifty eight. And again, it's a reasonable reward to risk in what is has been a a just supreme leader in the market so far. Eventually, this run will end right? But we don't know when that's going to happen. So we'll take our little pieces as we can go and uh, and swing trade it, right? Maybe a few weeks, maybe maybe more. Listen, if, it, if this craps out and falls right over, we take a small loss and we move on. That's what swing trading is. Again, market do, you know, doesn't care about you. You know, it just it does what it's going to do. Uh, next up is going to be Dash, DoorDash. You know, a lot of these delivery names look really good. Uh, DoorDash is one of them, has been kind of riding this nine-day EMA nicely. I like that a lot. So you could put your sub at a 23-day and have that buffer, right, that room to not get stopped out intraday. That's one of the things I like to do. Again, the trend is higher. So that the trick is just find your way in. So maybe a pullback to the nine-day, if that's your style. You say, okay, it's been pulling back to the nine-day every so often. And so when it does that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my entry there. Or if you think this is just going to start to zoom higher, and if it does, you say as it breaks higher from this daily range, and then you can use, you know, again, whatever moving average or, you know, maybe this low as your stop. Easy. That's the way I would do it. Again, it's all I share. When I do what, with my subscribers, I just share what the way I'm looking at charts and what I would do with it. It doesn't mean it's the right way. It doesn't mean it's the perfect way. It's just my opinion on how I'm reading the charts. Um, not many people will share an honest opinion on a chart, including sometimes people ask me about a chart. I'm like, no, nah, it really doesn't look good, right? I, I'm not going to just tell people what they want to hear. I'm going to you know, be honest. Again, and opinions change, right? That too. Don't forget. Uh, RBRK rubric. Uh, so this is a very new IPO. Uh, so 
you know, I don't know when the IPO lockup is. And that is something in this name that you should be aware of because now that we're about six months out, that lockup could be happening soon and that could potentially cause a lot of sellers to come into this name. So just be careful with this name and know your lockup. You see sellers have been showing up right here at all-time highs. So what would I want to see? I want to see, you know, again, this is kind of like, you know, this is kind of a winding pattern here, right? So I want to see a tightening underneath or near this level right there. We'll call it $40. I want to see some tightening here and then the breakout. So not ready, I don't think, for prime time yet. Again, especially if lockup is anytime close or if, or if it's happened very recently. But this is nice. There's a lot of accumulation happening in here. Again, some tightening, let the moving averages catch up and then push higher. So rubric is a name that could be on your, your short list or you know watch list. Um, KGS, this is Kodiak Gas. And uh, this is something that me and my subscribers have been. We made some money off of there. It wasn't a huge amount of money, but we made some because uh, then it started to come back in. Fine. So we took our money. We went home. Great. Um, now it's actually setting up once again. So I just actually kind of noticed this recently, but you know, it has this kind of flag area and then it broke the flag. Love that, right? That's a 2% move. Very nice. Has a dividend coming up. Um, but yeah, this gets, you know, moves higher above that high right there. You know, call it 3160 or so. Um, I, I think we could be long that name and I'd probably put my stop right around the 23 day. That's about what? 3% risk. That's pretty nice, right? That's a risk reward I can get behind. So this would be I think, a very actionable name if you want to be in an oil and gas or energy type company. Um, you know, it's a newer IPO as well. Look at that. Again, just absolutely beautiful. This one looks like, you know, it may want higher, right? That was a beautiful move. There's your consolidation. And this is up, retest, and maybe it rebounds down and goes higher. All right, that's KGS. Duolingo. Again, I got like a 550 day streak going, um, but we have, you know, nice little up and then you have this kind of consolidation here. Um, you have a very distinct area right there, um, right there. If we can get above, uh, call it 299, 300, something like that, we'll call it 299. Above 299, I think that's where we can manage risk. Moving averages have now caught up, 23 day, and now I think this can move higher right there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get, move, take this trend line out because I don't think it matters anymore. And I think that really this matters more, right? Now you see, can see this tight consolidation. I like that. Again, if it can move out of it to the upside, that's really nice. And then, you know, 5% or so to the downside, maybe a little bit less. If you get a little choppiness before it breaks out, you could use, you know, but again, if it breaks out and comes back in, no reason to be long this name. But if it breaks out and continues higher, well, you'll be glad you did probably. And the last one is VRT. Now, this was a name that I shared with subscribers um, this morning. And, uh, and so here is the exact trade I gave them. Uh, this is exactly how I set it up too for subscribers. So uh, the trade is by one uh, well, 115, right? So if it breaks higher from here, uh, the stop is around $10.50. I don't want to see it go bearish outside right here. Um, and then once this moving average just catches up with my stop, I switch to a moving average as a stop and hopefully this is moving higher on us, right? Uh, at this way, um, I have a 4% initial risk. And then hopefully once that moving average starts to catch up, my risk will actually diminish and my break even will be protected as quickly as possible. But again, we have to have the positive price action for this to even trigger. We're not gonna just going to buy willy nilly. Um, at least that's not the way I do it. You know, some people may go intraday. I, I don't to find these buy spots. Um, I like the daily charts because I go use daily weekly. Um, and this one, again, it retested, had earnings. You know, buyers ended up did, did show up, held the 23-day. I like this one to go higher, um, again, but it has to prove itself. All right. Um, and that's where you go. 10 names for you. If you haven't done so, check me out on X at AlphaCharts365. Click that subscribe. If you're not part of X, 
Check me out on YouTube. Click the join. 10 bucks. Same videos for everybody. I don't do anything different. Um, and I think that, you know, the type of things that I offer uh, for that for that amount of money is absolutely a steal. OK, again, thank you all for watching. Have a great day.